Hello everyone, <laughs> welcome to Cooking with Carla. My name is Carla and I am a registered dietitian at the Ralph Lauren Center um, for Memorial Sloan Kettering. And there I help patients that are going through cancer eat well before, during, and after their treatments. And today we are here in the amazing demonstration kitchen at Urban Health Plan. Urban Health Plan is a network of community health centers in the South Bronx, Manhattan, and Queens. And today we have a special treat for you because summer is approaching us and I have two recipes for you that give me summer cook-up vibes. And those are roasted corn salad and lentil and chickpea burgers. So let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna start chopping up our veggies for the roasted corn salad. I'm really excited. We're gonna start with some baby spinach. Here you can use any kind of spinach that you like or any other greens that you like. We're just gonna roughly chop them. And I like to just grab them in a big bunch and then just chopping away. Whenever you're mincing or roughly chopping, it's important that you put the other hand on top of the knife. Okay. Perfect. So now we're gonna do the peppers. Here you can use any color of pepper <laughs> that you like. I'm using red, but you can use green, yellow, orange, whatever you like. And we only need about half a cup, quarter cup to half a cup of uh, chopped pepper. So I'm gonna um, dice them. So this is how I do uh, my diced pepper. I'm not gonna use this whole pepper because it's kind of large, but um, I'll save the rest for the next recipe. For these, I'm first cutting um, sort of thinner strips because I want small pieces for my corn salad. So I did thinner strips of pepper. <laughs> I don't know. Then <laughs> we're gonna do, after we do the strips, we're gonna cut across to get our dice. And we're gonna do some green onions that we we took out the outer layer of the green onion and we're gonna mince those. Here you can use as much or as little green onion as you like. You know, I'm just using two, but I think the recipe calls for four, but you can use more or less. Next, we have our cilantro. Again, you can use any amount of fresh herb that you like. I'm using cilantro here, but you can use parsley, you can use basil, whatever you like. So I like to remove this part of the cilantro, the bottom part, and I like to sort of make, put it all together, and then we're going to mince. I absolutely love cilantro, so I'm gonna add a lot of it. Next we have tomatoes. We're using Roma tomatoes. You can use whatever variety you like. We're gonna remove uh, the, the stem or the top part of the tomato and the bottom, and we're gonna cut it in half. And then I'm gonna make little tomato steaks 
you know, there's different ways of cutting a tomato. <laughs> I like to do this one because it gives me structure when I'm cutting it. <laughs> Okay, so now we're gonna sort of roast the corn. You can use the skillet with some oil or you can use a grill outside, you can use the oven. We just wanna cook the corn a little bit so that we can get that nice and sweet flavor for our salad. So we're gonna add some oil. You can use olive oil. I'm gonna use oil, uh, olive oil spray. And I'm gonna let the corn for a few minutes on each side. So while this is sort of roasting, I'm gonna add a little bit of water. Okay, now we're cooking. Now we see some action. <laughs> we just wanna cook the corn lightly to make sure we have some golden brown cur kernel so that it has a nice color. So now we're gonna make the dressing. So for the dressing, we're gonna use lime juice. I'm gonna use the juice of two limes about three tablespoons to quarter of a cup of fresh lime juice. And then I'm gonna use a little bit of paprika, salt and pepper. And to add that sweetness, we're gonna use some honey. Here you can use brown sugar or on any other sweetener that you like. Um, I love using something acidic or tart and something sweet for a dressing because it really brings out the flavors of all of the vegetables. So whenever you're making a dressing, think about adding some tartness and adding some sweetness to it. The other thing about this salad that I love is that there's a variety of vegetables here. The spinach, it's really high in calcium, iron, and vitamin A all and even B vitamins like folate. All of these are important for our immune system, our skin, um, our vision and our overall health. So the more variety you incorporate in terms of vegetables, the better. You don't have to eat a different vegetable every day. <laughs> but uh, when you're making dishes, think about what else I can add to these to these salads. Salads are great because you can pretty much um, use any vegetable that you like and you can try new things. So we're gonna do about a tablespoon of honey and we're going to paprika I'm gonna use about a quarter of a teaspoon. You can add more if you want. A couple of pinches of salt and pepper and we're gonna add about two tablespoons of olive oil we're gonna give it a nice mix and this is ready for for our salad okay so now I'm gonna use this bowl to cut up the corn to not make a mess. I'll show you what I mean. I'm gonna scrape all the, the fabulous dressing. It looks great. I can't wait to eat this. So I like to use a smaller bowl inside a bigger bowl. And this is a trick I learned, I think in the Food Network. <laughs> I have to be honest with you. I think it's a really good idea because when we cut up 
the corn cob, all the, the, the kernels or the grains, let's say the grains will fly all over the place. So this is a good way to keep them contained. It's less of a mess. Okay. All right, so now we add our corn to our veggies, our dressing, and we eat it. So, so excited. Um, did I tell you something about corn? <laughs> corn, um, it's considered a starchy vegetable, but it is a vegetable, and it's actually really high in fiber, and it has a nutrient called carotenoid, which is like, but it, in our bodies, it converts to vitamin A, and it's great for our skin, our vision, and our immune system. So corn does have a lot of nutritional value. It also has a lot of vitamin C. Um, so adding it to your diet, it's a good idea, especially in the summer that it's unseasoned. And this is such a great recipe for barbecues, picnics, and it's just so colorful. Let's serve this. I'm so excited. So color colorful, super delicious, full of textures, which we love. And it's so nice. You can um you can store this in the fridge and use it up to three days. The quicker you use it the better. But it's good it's a good recipe for for meal prepping and making ahead of time the next day it tastes better so so let's continue with our lentil chickpea burgers first off we're gonna cook off a cup of chopped onions and a cup of chopped mushrooms i'm using baby bella mushrooms but you can use any mushroom that you like We're just going to cook them together. And I like to add a little pinch of salt to bring out the moisture. The cooked onions and mushrooms will add moisture and will be binding for our chickpea and lentil burgers. So now I'm gonna let them sit for a few minutes so that they can get nice and golden brown. I'm gonna mash the chic piece roughly and just to get a nice chunky consistency. For these, you can also use a food processor, but make sure that you pulse and uh, not ev not blend everything so much just pulse a few times so that you get a nice chunky mixture okay we're ready to make our burgers i am so excited for this one we're gonna let the onions and mushrooms cool off for a little bit so that we can add it to the batter and we don't get burned while we're making the burgers so we're gonna add the rest of the ingredients here we have about a cup of cooked lentils and these was half a cup of dry lentils that we cooked with a cup of water just cook them until they're they are nice and soft like this add that here Next, we're gonna add two tablespoons of flour. And we're gonna add our seasonings. We're gonna add about a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. We're gonna add about a teaspoon of garlic powder. And 
And we're going to add about a teaspoon of cumin. Next, we're going to add our cooked mushrooms in. Um, our cooked mushrooms and onions. This will add a nice flavor. And now we're going to mix all of these ingredients and start making our, mm -hmm, our patties. I'm going to give it a nice mix and I'm going to go in again with the masher. To make sure everything is blended in. This looks really good. This looks great. So now we see that this mixture is ready to make them into nice patties. So for that, I'm going to use just a measuring cup. This is a half a cup measuring cup. I'm going to add a little bit of oil spray here to start making our lentil and chickpea burgers. So we're going to add it and add some of the batter. Try to pack it in like that. And now we're going to cover it in breadcrumbs. You can make this as large or as little as you want. And this will hold up well for the grill as well. If you eat animal products, you can also add an egg, especially when you're making them in the grill outside adding an egg will help you make sure that they stay together in the grill but for now we're just gonna just we're not gonna use an egg and so we continue making lentil patties until we're done with the mixture and then we cook them yeah so let's make this too, right? So I hope you enjoy these beautiful, amazing recipes. <laughs> Remember these recipes are not written in stone, so you can make them your own. So you can vary the vegetables, the seasonings, the spices, and make them your own way. I hope you enjoy this and a big thank you to Urban Health Plan for letting us use this amazing space. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.